Good afternoon and welcome to Take One with Ronnie Lloyd Nanos. My name is Ronnie Lloyd Nanos and I'll be your host today and this is the virgin episode of Take One. It's the only virgin here today I'm sure. But um, welcome Las Vegas. It's, it's a nice hot day in Vegas as you can see in the background here. It looks really hot, right? Right, it's hot in Vegas. Today our guests are a plethora of artists in the Vegas community that are involved in so many things from burlesque, live theater, film, and I'm really excited to do this today. And um, what's different about Take One as opposed to any other kind of entertainment interview show in Vegas? Well, for me it's actually a chance to speak candidly and discuss the real issues and real things that happen. Again, we're here to, yes, elevate and do some wonderful things and talk about art and talk about entertainment. But we also want it to be a, a show that people watch and learn something such as the ins and outs and the plus and minuses of the industry. And um, our first guests here are currently the um, producers of the Golden Legends Championship Challenge, which is having its first time being done in Las Vegas. Their names are Bones and Gabby. So, hi Bones and Gabby, how are you all today? I'm good, thank you for having us, Rob. Welcome, and guys, you are the first two, you're here to pop my cherry today. Ooh, well, you're popping yeah. mine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But, um, again, I wanted to invite you all on to, let's, you know, let's get all the stuff out of it. Let's talk about what you're doing this week here in Las Vegas. This week, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we are having the ninth annual Golden Legends Champion Challenge. And uh, what this is about is we take some of the top mentor or, or some of the top performers, we ask them to mentor for us, and they take some of the best up and comers and performers in the industry that want to up their game. They mentor them in burlesque. But something that's unique is that that act is a never before seen act. It's hard enough to deb debut a new act after you've rehearsed it over and over. But uh, to do something that you've never put on a stage before is almost really For hard. For competition, because mm -hmm. usually a lot of people do it three or four times in a bar, at least, at least minimum, oh. before they take it somewhere else. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Coming as a performer, I, I, I know I come from that perspective of very often when I create a new number, I usually don't feel like I've even hit its groove till about three or four times before. Because you're like, oh, how did the audience react? So this makes it nice and cold mm -hmm. and kind of like, here it is in your face and it's brand new. I wanted to ask, um, you know, comparatively, you know, Las Vegas is the home of a lot of kind of big burlesque events from Burlesque Hall of Fame, et cetera. I think there's now going to be the new Sin City Burlesque Festival. There used to be a Las Vegas Burlesque Festival here that is no longer here anymore. Mm -hmm. um, what is different about GLCC? And again, how does it compare as far as, um, you know, Burlesque Hall of Fame is like the Olympics, the world-class mm -hmm. events. <laughs> Will we see world-class performers in this? Absolutely, absolutely. But we, what's different from this too? We have, have all on. different skill levels, styles, nice, um, genders, um, all body sizes, colors. A I mean, the ages just range rampant, and like I just love that this is all inclusive. Nice. As, as again, while, while we were talking about, do you think that some festivals aren't quite as inclusive? We're not, again, we're not here to talk bad about anybody. It's not that. But I, you know, I think a lot of performers that go in and that, these are big conversations in the burlesque community. For some reason, strippers are up in arms about the most, you know, th these big social issues and whatnot. I'm like, you know, half the time I'm like, we take our fucking clothes off. Why are we making a deal out of it? And that's my perspective. I don't like to put that on other people. These things are important issues. Absolutely. I guess sometimes I wish, hey, let's just get up there and, and fucking perform. But why do you think, you know, this is a little different? Well, the legends was what makes it different. Uh, when when we jumped into this and we talked to, to our supporting legends, they were like, let's make sure that we celebrate us and make this program about being better about making the industry a little better um i can't speak on other festivals i really can't Good. i've been in a few uh uh of commercial what i call a commercial festival mm -hmm. um and we love it we love it we're going to continue to do it right um, i think you guys recently did um if i'm color correct mile high for less correct, festival, correct. run by corvette and scott happel actually yes out there in denver yes it was a wonderful time i've never done that festival i've never done i'm going to tell you 
It's a really good festival. It's a stoner festival. It's a stoner festival. Stoner festival. I, 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 good about the best it. gift bags in the industry. Oh, I bet. It's a legal <laughs> weed. I, was just, I, I work in Vegas because there's And I love weed. everybody's performances. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yes. You know, as we were just talking there on some things, you know, being better or whatnot. I, ha I, I know, you know, this is your guys' first year doing this festival. And um, to address the elephant in the room, I said we were going to do that again. And, and for our watchers and people... You know, um, when people get a new festival that you purchased from a, a burlesque legend running mm -hmm. it, you know, I, 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 I'm friends with her. I'm, again, Gabriella Mays. I don't always see eye eye with Gabriella. And I'm like, and I, I love her. We're friends. And that's the thing that we're going to address, too, is like, you know, sometimes with your friends, you don't see eye to eye. And then people make it a big deal in your enemies and people get a little tribal. You know, you're either on one side or you're on this one. And I know you've had to kind of come into that in this festival going... Mm -hmm. As these new owners, and you're doing some things different, mm -hmm. and it, 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 that that's understood. You know, some of those issues people question. They feel like they have to take a side. You know, I, I come from the original generation of of GLCC as a mentor, and I came mm -hmm. in this year as a protege. Um, what are some of the ups and downs that have happened this year? Again, we're not here to annihilate anybody. We're here to go. Hey, it's difficult sometimes. We don't always agree. Um. The difficult part has been uh, there's no real resume for things. We can't come in and say, hey, I've been producing this long, and the first thing we get is, well, not burlesque. <laughs> not okay, burlesque. I get that. Um, and then we've also, we've also been very set on, hey, this is a business, and we're putting a business model to it mm -hmm. as an educational festival. And uh, there's people don't know how to receive that because they're so used to, hey, it's done this way, it's done this way. Well, we're bringing some new fresh ideas in the structuring of how some a festival or especially an educational festival might want to look. No, absolutely. Again, I think earlier we were talking about, I know some people had the issue with the hashtag, be better, blah, 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 be blah, better. and interpret it as like, they think they're better than the last one. And I'm like, here's your place to clear the air on that, What you know, with yes. these hashtags. So... Part of my life is always the next day, the next moment, being better. Mm -hmm. Being better than my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. Absolutely. <laughs> being better than my childhood. Um, and each year, I want to be better in my burlesque. I want to be better at entertainer. I want to be a better friend. Right. Um, so it's always about being improving ourselves. And I looked up hashtags, and we found hashtags that go with our group mm -hmm. and also promote and Bring in the algorithm. So to, 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 to put this out there, to have a definite answer, was be better, was it a, was it a, a strike so that you think it's going to be better than the original one? Or is it like, no, it's, or was it? It's, it was it's a, a personal because it's, a it's, a, it's a yeah, personal Because it's an challenge. educational festival, we are about being better, about being better performers. That's the whole right reason why we're getting mentored. So it was not a strike down to no. the best app. There you and go, I ladies and gentlemen. Think about it there you a, go. <laughs> I should have foreseen it. I'm sorry. No, I call it. You I, know what? I think nowadays, too, again, we're talking about things in the industry, and even with social media, social media network, here we are, um, that often when we say things, People are going to interpret it. It's going to fit whatever their agenda, where they're coming from and whatnot. It doesn't make the people wronged. It just makes people... It, it's different perspectives. And again, Absolutely. some people took Be Better as a... Oh my gosh, they're putting down the original and whatnot. I mean, I, you know... And I heard those things. I've talked to a lot of these people. I, you know, know a few people in, the, in this community. And I'm like, I didn't see it that way personally myself. I understood where they were coming from because they're like... Well, listen, everyone gets a little, lack of better words, fucking butthurt over crap. And I mean, it doesn't negate your feelings. It's, it's not that, again, I'll, I'll take that, that, that aspect of me. I mean, they're going to call me whatever the fuck, I don't care. But um, it's just those things of, often I think when we go on social media, I get that as a, as a, as a boss, as an employer, as a producer, and in, in working in the fields, I usually am in, you know, the hiring person or in charge, and often you're like, if I say this, someone's going to think I mean this. And that comes through time. I know this was your all's first festival. And I didn't personally think Be Better meant that. But well, I know some being people better, know. and then it was hashtag mentorship matters. Yes. Oh, rather, hashtag rather GLCC, hashtag the there. Golden Legends. It was about tying us up. Because do you know GLCC, that acronym goes for a lot of organizations. I knew that. Did you yes. know what this one actually stood for? What it was made for? Yes, what is I it? do. Glitter. Uh -huh. Life. 
community and, and courage. courage. But that, but did you know when, she, when when Gabby created what that actually is? I'll tell y'all. Those are actually her initials for her real name. Did you know that? I knew that. I only know because I know her. Mm -hmm. But that's how. That's what GLCC. It the acronym comes from her actual initials to her Muggle name. Hmm. All right. There we go. See, we all learn, mm -hmm. and that's the point. Again, that, and that's a great thing. Again, I am friends with Gabby. I, I talked to her on the phone yesterday. Um, have the lines of communication in time? Have they improved at all? Has there been any kind of reach out? I think and people want to know that too because often we don't see that. Has there I been don't any kind feel of any um, anything yeah. from her. Like we haven't gotten any negative. Um, but have there been yeah. any correspondence since yes, all the hoopla? Yes, actually, yes. And we said we would like to open up the lines like of the communication. communication again. There we you are, have it. We were really busy this ne last busy. next two Wait, weeks, and we said we'd so, hit her up afterwards. See, there you got it again, and that's what I think. I think that helps people kind of move on and going. You know what? The people that are having this issue that people feel tribal on, if they're talking, and lines of communication are open, mm -hmm. then maybe. What, what the fuck do I know? Maybe we should stay out of it and let those people handle it themselves. Again, people can get mad at me because I said that. I said, like, hey, it's between them. Let them handle it. I think people tend to feel like you have to pick a side. And I just come from the perspective of I'm a human being and I want to understand and whatnot. Again, I haven't known you all as long. But you've never done anything to me personally. Have we ever had a heated conversation where I oh, lost my temper? We yes, get it. absolutely. Absolutely. I do that with my best friends. I do that with family members. Again, I'm, I'm a human being, and maybe that makes me a toxic male. I don't care. And um, I'm, I'm a human being. And um, what it happens with that is I think people are afraid to disagree because then they think it makes you enemies. And you can't say something heatedly and have an argument. And then, okay, we had that. We both said our piece, and now we move on. It doesn't mean we're enemies. And you guys came to my bar in Texas after all that, and mm -hmm. we had a wonderful time. We, we did. certainly did. And thank you, by the way. Oh, no, yes. thank you all. You hosted, and it was wonderful. Well, thank he you all for coming. I always, and I always like to do that to any performers, any artists that ever come through Amarillo, Texas. Come to my bar in Amarillo. They are in our bar. There, there we go. Oh, we're at, you know, guys, we're, this went by so quick, but yeah. One thing that I'm known for, I do a couple of drunk cam in R&R. I actually do a, another private kind of show called and you have a drink with Pistol Holiday. I did an interview with Burlesque legend Tiffany Carter on that just a few months ago. We always like to end our segments. I'm a bar owner, and people think I'm this huge drinker. I'm not a stoner, but I'm <laughs> right. <laughs> but we also <laughs> like to do a thing of you are welcome to have a shot with me. We will have, like a have a shot with me. I'm a whiskey drinker. I'm from Texas. And while we drink this, remember Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, August 17th, 18th, and 19th. Yes. My point doors is. open at seven. Red carpet is from 17, 7, 17, uh, 7, 15 to 7, 45, and 8 p.m. is the show. Thursday and Friday are competition, and Saturday is our award and showcase, like the MTV Awards. Oh, the, and there also is a red carpet. Mm -hmm. yes. Red carpet, I wanted to add that we are at Got Films here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and Got Films is sponsoring the red carpet for this yes, event. So thank yes. you, Jeremy Settles and Got Films and everybody. Jeremy is a wonderful, wonderful filmmaker here Absolutely. in Las Vegas to work with. He's done so much for the community out here. And so thank you, Jeremy Settles and Got Films for sponsoring the red carpet for GLCC. Well, guys, you can find us on Eventbrite under Golden Legends yes. Champion Challenge or at our website at goldenlegends.org. And also, the mentors have classes on Thursday and Friday, so make sure you look up their classes on Eventbrite for Golden Legends Champion Challenge classes. And I also come from that perspective, whether you're doing burlesque, film, anything, go to class, educate yourselves, improve, and always work your craft and your art form. I don't think we're ever too advanced to not improve ourselves, to be better. That's right. Awesome. Well, cheers. Cheers. Put it in your mouth. Don't make it weird. It's fine. <laughs> I'm all like, and um, here's to GLCC. Let's have a kick-ass time this week. Huh? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much. And we're going to take a break right now and bring in our next guests, which are Kane and Candace Blush, the directors and producers of the short film Lucille that was shot here in Las Vegas. We'll see you in a bit.